Hello, dear ones. It's Alice. I'm of the stars, and I have for you today an interesting little story about dream dream snatchers. One of those unbelievable black magic stories. And this is a special kind of black magic story because although I know what's happening, I don't know what to do about it. And so maybe the answer will be revealed in the future. I hope so. It goes like this. There are those amongst the spiritual adepts who are consequentialists. They believe that um, the, the, the end justifies the means. So they're willing to do whatever it takes to fulfill their notion of the masterful plan that they have for development of planet Earth and her peoples. Hitler Circle was one such. They believed that genocide was perfectly acceptable, that experiments, uh, medical experiments on human beings uh, were perfectly acceptable in order to implement the New World Order. Uh, they were a very famous example. But there are many examples, even in the world today, of consequentialism. And the dream snatcher is one such. So, positing that there are spiritual adepts in the world today who have the ability to step into the um, electromagnetic field of people just as they start to fall asleep and to, with their with their visualization, take their finger and puncture the dreams that people start to have about the way that they want reality to be, how they want to co-create the new reality. And they can stick with one person's electromagnetic field all night long, constantly puncturing and snatching away their dreams so that they go all night long without dreaming. Now, when people don't have any dream time sleep, they are very tired no matter how much sleep they get. So, so the process is this, and the theory that's being tested by these consequentialists is this, that they can re-terraform the dreams of the people of Earth with this dream-snatching sequence. First, for several nights in a row, they snatch and pop the dreams, right? Then the person is sleep-deprived and also yearning to dream dreams. Then a group of them gathers uh, on a Friday or Saturday night when there's a lot of energy in the air for romance on Earth. They gather around the sleeping form of this person and begin to insert uh, thought forms and dream sequences into the sleeping person until they have what you might call a movie clip. The clip has to do with something that will advance their own interests, their consequentialist interests about improving the world. Okay, After they've got the movie together in the person's head, one of them goes like, you know, you can imagine, wake up, wake up. And you wake up, and there's a dream lying before you, okay? And then they say, uh, oh, and, and so part two of the dream thing is some of the people who are gathered around the sleeping form, this is just too far out. This is very sci-fi. I wonder, in fact, if this came from a Hollywood movie. So some of the people are gathering um, slogans about um, making physical love and like setting them uh, in the astral matter of the second chakra of this person. So the person wakes up both horny 
and having this manufactured dream in their head, right? And the intention of the dream sculpting group is to get the person to have an orgasm, whether they're a man or a woman, to have an orgasm at the same time as they play this movie. And the notion is that then this movie will like be broadcast out there into the world. It might have to do with promotion of their group, for instance. If it were the Nazis, it might have to do with um, promotion of of the Third Reich and the New World Order, you see. It might have to do with affiliate alliance with, with Hitler and, and his intentions. It might have to do with offering money to the government or like that. Whatever it is that would suit the role, um, the, um, that would suit the dream that this, this group has, right? And in the current instance, there is no Hitler and like that. So it might be um, similar promotion of, of a group and their intentions in the world with the notion that they will take over the world like that. Because, of course, the, the understanding that they have is that their dream is the dream. It is the best dream for the world, okay? So, obviously, anything goes as far as... Uh, the, what they're overlooking is free will, which is one of the two tenets of life on Earth. Uh, so, so that's the fallacy here. But to get on with this, this drama, this like Hollywood drama, you wake up, according to them, you feel, you feel sexual, they say you might as well go ahead and have an orgasm, and they play the dream. I don't know how, right? They play the dream, and then they think that this dream will become a part of your psyche because of the, um, the um, intense emotion of, of orgasm. They think that. Um, you know, since 2012, this no longer works. It's not possible. Before 2012, it, it used to work sometimes. In the long run, each human being has free will. They have the right to, to have their own dreams. <clears throat> and unless we align with a group or a person that believes that we should cede our free will to them, we are, we are in the clear, as it were, as human beings. We can act and we can dream and we can co-create the new reality without kowtowing to or bowing to the leader of any group and his notion of how life on earth should be. So the new reality... Uh, won't be the action of one person who subsumes everyone else's w willpower. And it won't be a coalition of people, all of whom win over everyone else's notion and implement that on earth. No, it will be a symphony of every soul on earth. An ongoing, instantaneously changing symphony of the eternal now. Well, that's all I have on the Dream Snatchers right now. I, I, oh, well, here's one other thing. Here on Earth, we have free will and we have the all. These are the two concepts on which life on Earth is based. The notion that, that we take into consideration the all and that everyone has free will. So any plan that we implement in the future on Earth has to take into account both of those, not just one.